So there's this thing that keeps happening in my comments section where I'm getting these very disgruntled black men who, um, or black males, I don't know if they're teens, I don't know if they're preteens, I don't know if they're grown adult men, elderly, um, from comment to comment, that's just not something that my analytics will reveal, but, um, these disgruntled comments like, oh, you know, how do you keep ending up on my feed? Divest already. Level up to a bread. Go get you a white man. And, um, I mean, it's really silly. I feel the need to convey this point. I don't do content for you. I don't. Like, at all. Like, I don't know why you're here. There is this thing on YouTube where you, where you can just kind of click, you know, don't recommend channel. When I watch something and YouTube recommends somebody that I can't stand to see, don't want to deal with, I go on ahead and get on my, you know, my desktop and I'm just like, don't recommend channel. And then I never have to see you again. That's something you can do so that you never have to see my channel again. I'm not one of these clout chasers trying to get uh, a big channel by any means necessary. My actions mean something to me. My life, my death, my eternal soul, it means something to me. And I'm moving in a strategic way as a result of the things that I believe. Okay? So, here's the deal. I do content for black women who deserve better. That's who I do content for. And specific African-American women who deserve better. Now, hear me out because there are African-American women who don't deserve better. Okay, there are African-American women who deserve to be called every name and spoken to every which way that some of these uh, black male content creators speak to them. Okay, some of them, that's their just desserts. Right. I don't do content for those women either. I don't do content centered with men as a focus. And I also don't do content for each and every African-American woman. I do content for a subsection of people. We are not a large group. I do not expect to have even a large channel. I do content for African-American women who deserve better and the allies who believe that, right? So those allies may be white men, Asian women, uh, Pacific Islander, like, like, like it doesn't know. African-American women who deserve better and their supporters. Those of us who get caught up in these stereotypes who can be completely respectful, well-bred, decent, beautiful, fit, kind, polite, well-mannered, and walk into a place and because we're black, we get ghettoized and attacked when we're so much better than that. I don't do content for Shanene. I don't do content for, I mean, I don't want to say Shaniqua because I've actually met a Shaniqua and she's a great girl. Um, but I don't do content for Boom Chica and I don't do content for any of, uh, what is it? The Blackistani zoo animals that um, Lexus Nexus, uh, excuse me, Lexus Exodus has, has described. Even though, I mean, I literally just made a video talking about how I don't like to get into name calling, but by all means, her descriptions and definitions are really on point. Um, I don't do content for them. That is incongruent to my message. That is incompatible with who and how I am. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why you're commenting. I mean, you're clearly confused because you're telling me to go get a white man and I have a high value black man in my life. As much as I hate the term high value, um, I'm a homemaker. I'm, I'm very much a homemaker. I stay at home. My only job in the world is, is this YouTube here. And it's, it, it, it's not sustaining me. He is. He is. My every bill, my every outfit, my every stitch of makeup. And I'm proud of him and what he provides. Proud of him and what he provides. This is why I say things like, oh, I'm not divested, I'm pre-divested. Because I know that there are black men out there like him who are amazing. You're just not one of them. You in my comment section, uh, 
B wording and moaning because I don't want to say the whole B word bleeping and moaning. You're not one of them. I don't do content for you. You can excuse yourself. You can dislike the video. Actually, it's worse for my algorithm if you don't click on anything at all. If you don't click like or dislike, that's even worse because it shows indifference as I am indifferent to you. Do yourself a favor and get out of there. I care about good people and I am for good people wherever they are. However, because I belong to a very oppressed and wronged population of good women, that is who I focus on. So again, I'm not focused on the the stereotypes that you men go and talk about, right? Oh, these women are so this and these women are so that. Women who are true to those accusations, I don't do content for them. Okay. I do content compatible with the mocha mommies of the world. I do content compatible with the Lorenz of the world. I do content compatible with the Danielle Virgos of the world. I literally do content for uppity unicorns. Th- that is where I live. That is my lane. I'm not for every black body. I'm not for every African-American woman, period, let alone males. Again, I am focused on a subset of women, African-American women, right? Because you could say Caribbean, you could say all black women. And I, and I do love, you know, well, I love all women, any color, right? But in specific, African-American, I'm doing content for uppity unicorns, for black women who are better who deserve better and who get railroaded into nasty treatment because we're black, because you look at us and see Shanene instead of what is in front of you and you oppress us for it and you put us down for it and make our lives difficult for it. These are the women who I do content for. These are the women that I'm committed to. You do not qualify. I don't know why you're here. I don't see how you can hate from outside of the club when you can't even get in. This is not you. You weren't invited. There was no invitation sent your way. Like like nothing, no no address, no nothing. I've never said, like like I'm never going to be one of these black women who are the mainstream voice for African American women or who feels like she can speak for all black women because I'm not doing this for all black women. I'm doing this for women like my mother, women like my sisters, women like the women aforementioned, like the women that I named. I'm doing this for, you know, noble, (laughs) decent, kind, well-raised and regarded, even if they weren't well-raised, because I definitely have met some... um, foster children and different things in my life who have just come out beautiful, amazing. But like I said, like I've, I've got a unicorn population and chances are you're not a unicorn because by definition, we're rare. We're rare. We don't get on with everybody because we are different. We can't be around everybody. We can't do everything that we can't run with everybody else because you're horses and we have wings. It, it, no, we're not even apples and oranges. We're, we're, we're totally different food groups. Those are still fruit. Like, we're manna and quails. You are the, the, the lentils and onions and, and, and whatever the, the children of Israel went looking for, even though they were getting manna and quails from, from the sky. I don't know what to tell you. And if you don't know that biblical story, again, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not on YouTube to cast my pearls before swine. I'm here for the neglected population. Everybody is trying to do content for that 80%, for that 80%, for that majority, that clout chasing to be, oh, how I want to be in the number when that clout chasers go marching in. Like, I'm not doing content for them. I'm doing content for the ones who are forgotten. 
the ones who are above the fray, the ones who know how to talk it out. The ones who know how to put the past behind them. The ones who know how to be decent. The ones who know how to get in a fight without talking about everybody's kids and their mama. That's who I do content for. And that's not you. You're messy. You're rude. You're mean. You're disgusting. You lack empathy. You lack kindness. You lack couth. You lack scruples. I'm not doing content for you. This is a space for uppity unicorns. This is a space for fellow chocolate angels. All of my wonderful, beautiful mocha mommy-esque women. Like, do you even know what a mocha mommy is? See, I know that some of you due to your ignorance, you think that that's just a YouTube username. That's a whole group of elite women that you know nothing about. A group of elite Mothers, black mothers that you, you need to Google. You don't get it. And that's why you don't belong here and also why I don't belong with you. This is not content for you. My channel is not for you. You're not supposed to like what I have here. You're not supposed to be eating from my table spread. I'm not serving you, sir. Put my cutlery down and leave. You were not on the invite. There, There is no reservation in this restaurant for you. Go. Go. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why you're in, your, in the comment section. And in fact, I remove your comments. Anything that I feel like some of these refined women don't deserve to see because they are tender, because they are kind, because they are feminine, because they are all the things that women ought to strive to be, I remove your nasty, dirty comments if I see them, because sometimes I won't even see them. But you're definitely not getting a response. You're definitely not getting all this good karma I've built up, all this good energy, all these men. It's not for you. I don't know how to make this any clearer. Um, I mean, if you watch it, you watch it. If you like it, you like it. If you dislike it, you dislike it. But like, for some reason, when we women put ourselves out here, men think that it's for them. Sometimes I get dressed up and I open my camera because I'm hosting beautiful women. And it is a part of good manners. It is a part of being a hostess that you look like you care about your guests. That's not for you. I have a man to look at me undressed and in every other way already. That's not for you. I don't know why you think that we're out here dangling ourselves for you, for your approval, for your validation. Part of the reason why some of these women are swirling and divested is because they lost any type of concern or care. For your validation. You held that thing hostage for so long until they said fine. There are other restaurants out here. I will eat somewhere else. I don't even want to spend my dime here. I don't want to spend my dollar here. I'm good. You won't get a penny out of me. They're already done. Again, I don't know why you are here if you are not a lover of good African-American women, if you are not a lover of kind African-American women, if you are not a lover of distinguished African-American women, I do not know why you would be here. Everything about my algorithm and by all means, because when you subscribers go from my channel to the to the to the section eight of YouTube in the ghetto, you you conflate our algorithms. And before I know it, my video is coming up next to somebody's video who I don't want anything to do with. People who have no honor. People who who engage in smear campaigns, who will lie on you, your mom, your dead children. It doesn't matter. I don't want to be involved with them. That's what you watch. That's what you do. You love ghetto tube. You love section eight tube. You love the effery sector. Go there. Me and my 2000 are good over here. We're, We're good over here and we're happy over here and we're building over here. We're enriching one another over here.
I'm not one of these people beholden to making money off of subscribers and super chats. I'm lucky enough to be able to learn a thing or two outside of YouTube that contributes to a good income. A more than good income. And I plan on putting that back in my community. And Lord knows I don't want you over here as an imposter pretending to be one because I might bless you. I might accidentally do some Jacob and Esau things and give you the blessing of somebody that, that it, it doesn't belong to you. Me and my women, we're fine over here. And the men who support us, we're, we're good over here. Me, the Ebo Sosas, the Darren Marians, the, 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 the Terrys and Kruma Ture, like, like we're good over here. Us black people with our little white accents and you like to call us Oreos because we're refined and we went to colleges and we, and we know how to place value on a good education. We're good over here. We're not like you and we don't want to be like you. We are distinguished from you. Dare I say we're, we're low key. Look, let me not go there. Let me not. I, I don't want you pimping pimp lingo no i don't want you here you anti-natalist you anti-family you like bye you men who think that as soon as a girl gets a period even if she's nine years old she's ready for for sexual activity i don't want you here i am preaching to a group of women who need a reminder in as much as i do that we are all right and we're more than all right and part of the reason we don't fit in is because we're above the fray. We've made it. We've fought the good fight for decency, for character, for goodness, for compassion, for empathy, for God, for family, for community. We're beautiful over here. We shop at one another's businesses. We give one another gifts. We understand what it is to have somebody's address without ever doxing them. We ship one another goods. We ship one another, like, like you, you, you wouldn't even know what to do with another YouTuber's address. You would be so quick to give it away in a back chat. This is not a space for any colorist at any time. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why you watch. I don't know what you get out of it. I'm the rarity that you don't want to exist. I'm the rarity that anytime I skip to Malu outside of my channel and I hop on another panel, I can count on if there's a woman on the panel and a man, I can count on that woman being jealous of me, hating on me, spreading some kind of a rumor because she's one of the women you complain about. She's one of the ghetto, whatever it is, you want to call them hair-headed hooligan, BT1000, uh, uh, baby mama with multiple baby daddies and Section 8 and, 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 and what do you guys call them? Welfare or, or baby mama terrorists? Yeah, not me, not, not my brand. Not me, not my brand. You come over here to tell me you don't like me. You're not supposed to like me. And I'm not supposed to like you. Lakum dinu kum waliyadin. Oh, yeah, by the way, I've learned another language. I'm not over here with a whole bunch of African Americans who only ever learned English. I'm more refined than that. I'm more cultured than that. And if you don't even understand what it is to be cultured, I don't know why you're here. To you be your way and to me be mine. I will never do, say, or believe what you do, say, and believe. And you will never do, say, and believe what I do, say, and believe. So go your way. That is the most befitting choice and option for promoting peace. But you people love drama. I don't want to be in your drama. I don't want to be in your perpetual beefs that last for years and years and years. Life goes on. And some of you people, you don't know how to grow up. You don't know how to be decent. You don't know how to apologize. You don't know how to have integrity. You don't know how to own your own crap. And because of that, I feel safer and healthier when you are not here. It, it, it's... It, it would be behoove you to just stay out of my comment section altogether. 
I'm just going to see your comment. I'm going to read the first few words. And if I so much as have a tinge of, ooh, this doesn't seem very nice, I'm just going to remove it. And don't let it be super long because now you just wrote a novel for no reason and nobody gets to read it. I'm not that kind of person. There are other people who will who will use your negative, nasty comments and things you have to say for fodder, for a fire, for content. And, you know, kudos to them for being made like that. Me, I'm not. Nah, boo. Not at all. I'm all about hugs, love, being cuddly, goofy, happy, refined, you know, doing wonderful things with my life. Luxury, rich auntie vibes. That's the type of time that I'm on. Maybe you can't afford this kind of watch. That, that, that's, the time, that's the kind of time that I got. Just remove yourself. Is that hard for you to do? Because I've removed myself from your spaces. I don't go over there. You never see me in your chat rooms. You never see me in your comment sections. You never see me with your favorite YouTuber. I, there is a whole barrier that I have erected between myself and that level of filth and drama and interaction. And you people who don't leave your house and don't grow. You people who don't, you're so unfair and you're so unjust. And I don't know if you can tell by looking at my channel, but I'm a bit of a social justice warrior. I will speak a true word, even if it is against my own self, for the sake of the honest truth. No pun intended, but pun intended. We're not cut from the same cloth. There, there is an innate difference there. I don't know why you waste your time. I was never... And I do mean ever at any point creating content for you. My content is for the 20%. You go and you be great with your 80. You go do your popular crowd thing. You go sit at the cool kids table where you all, you know, do the dozens and rank on one another's mothers. And, and you, you go do that. I'm not about that over here. <laughs> 